For over 25 years, this has been the epicenter of sports entertainment. We welcome you tonight to the longest running episodic television show in history. This is Monday Night Raw. I got a feeling we're going to see some... Have to wonder what's on her mind. And the wait is finally over. Now let's listen in and see what she's doing here. Not making any friends, but not really concerned about it either. feeling we would start this way. She definitely looks laser focused right here. Let's listen and see. A fan favorite.
Doesn't seem too concerned. Definitely a fan favorite. Okay. better not take anything for granted in this business. That's all I'm going to say. Wow. What a reaction from the WWE Universe. That's about as good as it gets. The WWE Universe is behind that statement, no doubt about that. We've waited long enough. Let's get this thing started. Tag team action. Buckle up because we have a contest that's going to blow the roof off this place. We have a team led by one of the best talents on the roster today versus Team Curtis Axel. I cannot wait. Tag team action. And from behind! Oh, come on! They're trying to screw him before this match even begins. You can't be surprised. This is what needs to be done to make an impact in the tag team division. And there's no way that this team is going to be ready to go here. And the other guys are still outside, screaming at him. And they love this. Of course they love it. They're the ones left standing. Referee ought to just call this one. Yeah, I agree. Both legal men are in the ring and set to start things off here. We're ready to go. Aside from Saxton's commentary, this has all the makings of an epic match. Nailed it. Oh, look at this. Neck breaker after the float over. That was pretty.
have been times in sports entertainment when unlikely duos have formed and over time they develop and bond and become an outstanding tag team combination. The team that immediately comes to mind is the powerhouse duo of Cesaro and Sheamus. After the really best of seven series, I wouldn't think they'd develop into a top tag team. Think anyone but he might have it. There's no way he's giving up now. Oh, and he slips out. Wow, looked to me like he had it locked in pretty good. I guess not. Oh god, that hurt. This might be it. Oh my. For many years, members of the WWE Universe and the WWE locker room have felt that tag team matches should have two referees. One referee is in the ring overseeing the action, and the other is located out on the floor, making sure teams follow the rules and do not engage in potentially damaging behavior. I think it's a good idea, something perhaps Mr. McMahon might want to consider. the point that people have been talking about for years and that's a second referee being appointed to tag team matches. I remember WWE Hall of Famer and former WWE President Gorilla Monsoon used to express his strong advocacy for two referees being appointed to tag team matches. Uh, it's something that's been talked about for decades, Michael, and I don't think it's ever going to happen. We've seen it on occasion, but I think it's best to let the superstars be responsible for themselves. And the appointed official for the match needs to do the job they're paid to do. I don't think it's that much to ask. The biggest thing an opponent has to be aware of when they lock up with Bo Dallas is falling. Oh, and he makes the tag. That was a game changer right there, Michael. Wilbero suplex. Devastating. Oh, debilitating elbow drop. That's how you wear down your opponent. Harsh impact. The boat penny predicament. Oh, uh -huh, gets the shoulder up. Not yet. Too early. <laughs> Quick thinking to avoid that one. And there's his speed paying off. in fantastic shape tonight, guys. He already has an imposing look, but he also brings great strength. How can you counter all that, boy? Yeah, Cole, the modern-day Maharaja is big and bad, but we've seen enough David versus Goliath battles in WWE to know that sometimes speed and cunning can win over brute force. point about using speed against gender. We've seen a few formerly fast wrestlers trade their leaner physique for more strength and muscle, but that causes their speed to drastically go down. The numbers don't lie, Corey. Mahal saw great success by training for strength, but agile superstars like AJ Styles and Jeff Hardy show that you can properly tire out and knock down a bigger man like gender. Floor. The biggest thing an opponent has to be aware of when they lock up with Bo Dallas is falling under an immediate attack. The Bo leave in Bo spirit has consumed Bo Dallas, and this man is more ferocious than ever. Three. With a 180, Bo Dallas the reversal. The Bo Dallas we see now is much different than the individual who debuted in WWE in 2014. For someone challenging Bo Dallas today, they need to be ready to square off against a vicious individual. What Bo Dallas has shown us is that he's willing to take out anyone at any time. An opponent must be ready for anything once they've been identified as Dallas's opponent. I mean, before they even get in the ring. 
In May of 2017, SmackDown Live saw an incredible women's tag team match when Charlotte Flair and Becky Lynch squared off against welcoming committee members Natalya and Carmella. The rivalry between these women got so intense that Naomi was in Flair and Lynch's corner and Tamina was in Natalya and Carmella's corner. I think only a group as treacherous as the welcoming committee could break counter here. He's got a boatload of energy. See if it lasts. He's making a statement here with this attack. Wow, I thought he was a goner. And the instinct from Bo Dallas on display. Tag, and here comes his partner. And this is not going to be good for their opponent. Oh, crashing down the hard way. I'm not sure how much he has left. Here's the early cover from Curtis Axel. His feet. Now that's a takedown. Oh my goodness, crushing it. He'd better hope his stamina lasts. Oh, incredible. Can he finish the job? down is it enough Two, three, three. they did it wow what a match and here's another quick look at those superstars in action in that tag team battle here are your winners Curtis Axel and Bo Dallas the B team there's no doubt about it that's a big pinfall win right there if that's the type of action we're going to get all night long, I can't wait to see the rest of the card unfold. We have a great match coming up next. Anything traditional about this one on one matchup. Ziggler is here to show the world just how good he is, and he's ready to steal the show. And with that attitude to give him the moniker of the show up, but you've got to respect the guy who isn't afraid to lay it all on the line and bet on himself. You've got to believe this one's over. Features clean off your face. Oh. Oh. oh my goodness, crushing it! What a punch! Dolph Ziggler may get this, folks. Is he done? Ambrose starting to struggle now. This could be the start of an ugly downward. Nicely done as he gets out of the submission. Color me surprised, Michael. I did not see that one coming. What's this? Mention of Gooch Absolutely planted. No, he reverses it. is relentless. This is a man who kissed a bat wrapped in barbed wire during his match against Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania. The inmate does run the asylum when we're talking about Dean Ambrose. Irish whip! Wait a minute. It's clear that there's a method to this man's madness. 
Dean Ambrose doesn't know the meaning of words like stop or quit during a match. Dean Ambrose just keeps fighting. Ambrose is indestructible. The harder the fight, the happier Dean Ambrose is. The man who runs the Ambrose Asylum looks at it like just another day in the office. The guy's a lunatic. Got the leg. Oh. A superstar cannot go move for move with Dolph Ziggler. Ziggler's knowledge of holds and aerial maneuvers means you have to figure out how to contend with the... He got body on body there, but that's about it. Oh, man, I don't know who to root for. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. one of the reasons why Dolph Ziggler's been so successful in WWE. Whether it's mat-based holds or air attacks, Ziggler is more than comfortable mixing it up with an opponent. Guys, think of how difficult that is if you're Dolph Ziggler's opponent. You have to make sure to avoid holes and steer clear of aerial attacks. I'm not sure what an opponent can do against the show-off. Look at Dolph Ziggler with the famous serve. He's really looking to prove a point here. I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. Look at this. Look at Dolph Ziggler. Just when you thought he had nothing left. There's the pinfall and the victory. And here's another glance of these superstars in action. Still can't believe I get paid to watch this amazing action. Here is your winner, Dolph Ziggler. And the first match of the night comes to an end in thrilling fashion. And if that match is any indication of what to expect here tonight... You've been questioning for weeks whether this team can get along, and, well, this is the moment of truth tonight. But they can't even decide who's going to start the match. How do you expect to win the match? Yeah, this doesn't look good. Match underway. One half of the popular tag team, Brizongo. Tyler Breeze makes it a mission to solve all the cases from his fashion files, dishing out justice in the ring. You know, I saw Tyler Breeze oh, earlier on today, and he gave me a citation for my suit. I didn't really appreciate that. Well, if he gave you a citation for your suit, he'd absolutely throw you in jail for your pajamas. Beautiful technique. Bag is made. A little tandem offense on the horizon. Oh. That'll hinder your modeling career. If an opponent makes one wrong move, Fandango will capitalize on that, and it'll be all over. Elbow drop, big time! Elbow drop, piercing. A superstar can't make too many mistakes against Fandango and expect to leave the ring victorious. Remember, this is the man who defeated Chris Jericho in his in-ring debut at WrestleMania 29. A superstar has to be so careful with Fandango. What would seem like the smallest mistake to someone else could be exactly what the ballroom legend needs to seize the opportunity and walk out of the ring with a win. Oh my goodness, this hurts! You know, even before Matt Hardy became Wolfman, he could still be a bit strange. 
Need I remind you guys of when he used to call himself version one? So you really need to be more tech savvy. Matt Hardy version one that was an excellent reboot. They come to the ring every week with Matt facts that would both delight and inform the WWE Universe. Fondango. Beautiful kick by Fondango. But he's got to capitalize now. Fondango has to take advantage now. Corey brought up Matt Hardy version one's old Matt facts, and I just ducked it off an old website to read them. Let me get this straight. Uh, Matt strongly dislikes mustard? Uh, Matt is a great juggler? What are these? Uh, Byron, here, you missed this one. Matt is annoyed by stupid questions. If you can't recognize the wisdom behind these Matt facts, I feel sorry for you. I'm just trying to figure them out. to attack from high. Is it possible for Fon dance? Wow. between Matt Hardy and Bray Wyatt reached its end in one of the most bizarre matches in WWE history. The final deletion set up the Hardy compound. Michael, I know you're not a believer in Woken Matt Hardy and has since been called out by his infant son, Maxwell, and faithful servant, Senior Benjamin, but you have to admit that the Lake of Reincarnation had a positive effect on Bray Wyatt. I have to interject because... The Woken Warrior has said that you two obsolete mules cannot possibly convey the wonderful powers of the Lake of Reincarnation. Any further talk from you and Vanguard One will initiate the Boomstick Protocol on this announce table. Okay, look, all I can point to is what's happened in the ring. Ray Wyatt mysteriously appeared to help Matt Hardy win the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal and then join forces to become Raw Tag Team Champions at the Greatest Royal Rumble. time, Cole. Does he try to get back on the offensive himself, or does he attempt to make a tag here? He's definitely tapped a power source. During the rivalry between the Hardy Boys and Cesaro and Sheamus over the Raw Tag Team Championship, the teams became very familiar with one another. In June of 2017, the teams met in a two out of three fall bout on Monday Night Raw. The most important fall in a two out of three falls contest is the first fall. If a team can win the first fall, that sets the tone. Ray Watts drives his opponent down with a Yurinagi. Can't. The two out of three falls match you saw the Hardy Boys go at it with Cesaro and Sheamus was a throwback of sorts. Throughout the 1960s and 70s, championship title defenses and grudge matches were often decided in the two out of three falls format. Cesaro and Sheamus didn't waste any time and scored the decisive first fall after a bro kick rocked Jeff Hardy. Cesaro, he looked for Dago with the spinning heel kick. He's in complete control now. Here we go. Fondango is in position. Oh, uh, uh, that was beautiful. I'm not sure how much he has left. Yeah, he's going to the pin. Broken up, and the match. 
match continues. That's teamwork. Fandango seems to be really worn out. He needs to find a way to create some space to watch this thing's over. He's a big trouble here. I don't think I remember ever seeing him this much. What a sister Abigail! He's got the shoulders down. And he stops the count. Lucky him. You gotta believe this one's over. It's not hard to feel confident about yourself, and you always have Harper and Rowan within striking distance. And the instinct from Fondango on display. But he's running on a few. The shoulders are down. Two. It's not surprising that Fandango's his own biggest fan, but he's not going to stop until he's at the absolute top spot in this company. He's looking to bring this one to the outside where things can get... Uh, I think this is the beginning of the end. And he's heading back in. Is he done? He's looking at it. This might be it. Oh, my. Look out, down he goes. And he might not get back up. We got a cover. And he breaks up the count. Oh, and the ref gets taken out. What's he made of? Paper mache? And look at the quickness by Wyatt. Him down hard. You gotta love that kind of aggression. And he tags his partner in. Momentum has certainly shifted here, Michael. Goes down hard. How did they get away with that? That's not legal. And Bree says, not this time. When this guy's on, look out. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Oh, Tyler. Super kick the breeze. Ooh, just when you thought he had nothing left. Tyler Breeze is measuring. what he was looking for, Michael. That is a huge opportunity for Tyler Breeze. Fondango is dancing all over his opponent right now. Ray Wyatt drives his opponent down with a Yurinagi. Wyatt has to look to end this match right now. This is Bray Wyatt's match now. And Breeze said, not this time. to the arm. Hyper extends your elbow. I don't think there are two teams I'd rather see square off against each other right now. This is amazing. Knee drop. That was nasty. So precise. Beautiful technique. And here is Fondango in off the tag. Ooh! Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. He may have broken free cold, but I assure you the damage has already been. There it is. The tag has been made. Oh, he needed to get in the worst way, Michael. And the instinct from Fondango on display. Oh, right to the face. Larry. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Oh, 
Pressure's in. Cinched in. Nowhere to go. Uh -oh. Oh, my goodness. Crushing it. He's going for it all. Look out! He goes for the cover. Two! And he got a near fall out of it. Just when he thought it was over. Wow! Beautiful side Russian leg sweep. What a stop. Good grief. And the instant from Fondango on display. He wants no part of the outside. Oh, he's almost there. Oh, and he makes the tag. That was a game changer right there, Michael. What a strike. Boom. Fondango. <laughs> oh, that was beautiful. Fondango is just so dominant. One, two, three. Now, that's an impressive tag team victory. How about another look at some of the highlights? Who could forget this? And here's the last piece of the puzzle. Here are your winners, Tyler Breeze and Fandango. Breeze Wow, huge pinfall win here tonight. Wow, I can't believe the amount of punishment that had to be inflicted in order for their shoulders to stay down for the three count. Guys, I have to say that... Don't change that channel. We have singles action coming up next. Who will reign supreme? This should be an incredible matchup. I mean, both men have extensive offensive repertoires, lasting endurance, and an insatiable appetite to be number one. These guys are undoubtedly going to give us a show here tonight. The best laid plans often go awry, but the architect has always been able to rebuild and redesign. Yeah, but it's that reclaiming part at the end of his saying that Seth Rollins often gets tripped up on. doesn't get too out of hand for him. Sometimes, momentum has a way of permanently swinging the other way. That's what he wants to avoid here. Seth Rollins is feeling it right now. Wild strike right on the mark. There's a pin now. And Jack Ryder pops the shoulder up. He can withstand a lot more punishment, I can promise you that. He's too quick for him there. Oh, hanging off for dear life. Oh, alley you power bomb. That might be it. He's got him covered, and he doesn't stay down for long. Gonna take more than that. That'll mess up the back 
to your neck. He's dodging his opponent from the top turnbuckle. Look at this! What a stop! Good grief! Oh boy, he is rolling. A striking blow. Oh, this is one of my favorite moves, Corey. Unfortunately, woo, 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 I know it. Boom, Broski boot. But did he go for it too early? You never want to be on the receiving end of one of those. What's Zack Ryder? Oh, Zack Ryder with the Rough Rider. That one, two. And he kicks out. Yeah, it's going to take more than that. He's making a statement here with this attack. Wow, so impressive. Zack Ryder starting to wane a little. And at this point, you have to wonder if he can recover from this. I'd never count this guy out, but I'll tell you what. He's not looking so hot right now. He's really going to need to find a way to get back in this thing. He's taking on some damage, but so is his opponent. This match can go either way at this point. Seth Rollins! Oh, what a super kick from the Architect. This could be it, guys. There's the pin. Can his opponent kick out? Two, three, three. The pinfall and the victory. That match deserves another look. Here we go. He really put on a great show. Here is your winner, Seth. Kicking off the night with an impressive victory. And you just know the rest of the card is watching in the back, wondering how in the world they're going to fight. We got one-on-one -on -one action coming your way next. Going to settle the score. Here we go, matchup's gonna be a good one. Superstar ready for action. Wasted a little time to start things off. There's the double A takedown on the big right hands. Here we go, this thing's breaking down before it even gets started. Chaos is suing here. Incredible. Brock Lesnar is looking to further his unmatched legacy of the only man to hold championships in the NCAA, WWE, WGP in Japan and the UFC. And it looks to me like this entire arena is on its feet, and understandably so. Brock Lesnar still enters every match as the odds on favorite. Yeah, I would never predict a Lesnar loss, Saxton, because you can enter Suplex City, but you will never come out the same. Suplex.
ring with this guy and walk away completely unscathed. Yeah, but if you count him out now, guys, you'd be making a fair cut yes. for all the glory here. I think it goes without saying, but fire the keep ready Brock Lesnar opponent is to avoid a trip to Suplex City. Uh, yeah, that's easier said than done, Michael. Big or small, Lesnar has set everybody he's been in the ring with to Suplex City. Suplex City. Lesnar has been able to suplex superstars of all sizes, including the massive Big Show. You're absolutely right, Cole. Nobody's immune to Suplex City. And for me, my favorite part is his shoulders are down. And Ben Balor gets out of the pinfall. Yeah, just too early. So resourceful. Seems like we're back where we began. He's going for it all. This is where Finn Balor's at home. I'm not sure how much he has left. He's going for the pin. He's got plenty of gas left in his tank. It's going to take more than that. I knew it was only a map. He's firing on all cylinders. Oh boy, he is rolling. How could Brock Lesnar just dig deeper right now and find his way out of this one? This is not where he wants to be right now, guys. We know Finn Balor has gained a huge following around the world. It's hard not to get swept up by this young man's extraordinary talent. After every match, more and more, the WWE Universe become members of Balor Club. Oh boy, he is rolling. Uh-oh. In position. Look out. Here it comes. Oh, almost through the turnbuckle. Can he finish the job? Michael, forget about Finn gaining his fans after the match. Judging by this crowd, dirt. Finn Balor perched on top. Here it comes. Clean Ross. Can't waste any time going for the cover. And he's able to get the shoulder up. You expect a man like Brock to be taken out by that? No way. No how. And there's his speed paying off. Out the arm. Now, don't go anywhere. We have a classic coming up. Let's do it. These men are fighting as 
if they're trespassing on each other's property, like they're in each other's yard. There can only be one big dog to claim the land, and we're going to find out who the real big dog is. And man, I never get tired of watching these guys compete. Elaborating on what Byron said about seeing who's the true big dog, I compare it to the analogy of the new sheriff aiming at the old gunslinger. A battle for territory, a battle to force. He goes for the cover. Wow, pure brute strength on the part of Roman Reigns. Uh-uh. in that's for sure but if anybody could break free from this it's this superstar right here at some point the referee may want to think about stopping this one before somebody gets seriously injured things have gotten much worse for Roman Reigns he could be out match he might just have nothing left to give guys guys i don't think he possesses the ruthlessness needed to be successful outside of the ring which really begs the question why he's been out there so much the big dog is losing his stride right about now 
He wants the Superman punch. Without shoulders on the back. One, two. Dug down deep and gets the shoulder up. There is no quit in this man tonight. Uh-oh. Here we go. Here we go. What a stop. Good grief. Not where he wants to be right now. Hey, he got himself into this mess. We've got to get himself out of it now. He's left wide open here. I don't think he even realizes it. He looks dazed. He's about to get bad. Oh, boy. He's in trouble here. Oh, my goodness. Stone pile driver. What in a cover here. Two. Three. The Undertaker puts it away. The Undertaker with a tremendous win. Here's another quick look at some of the highlights. Check this out. He ain't playing here. Here is your winner, The Undertaker. And that's a win to start off the night. Yeah, the performance put forth.